this is my third video on Minecraft the card game. Just look at my original video to find out what the game is about. But uh, in this video, I'll be going over um, basically the only somewhat complex part of the game. The rest, the main point of the game is pretty simple, but except for this. So, um, how is it? The only crafting items that need to be upgraded are uh, pickaxes and swords. The reason pickaxes need to be upgraded over time is because uh, basically if you have a higher level pickaxe such as uh, iron pickaxe you can mine more items such as like diamond or whatever. Uh, the reason you would want to upgrade uh, weapons such as swords, you, actually that's the only weapon you can upgrade, but the reason you'd want to upgrade swords is because the higher level the sword is, the better chance you'll have of killing a mob. If you run into a mob and you don't kill it, you basically die. If you die, you either lose all your resources or you lose all your resources and crafting items, which sucks. Um, but you, once you score achievement cards, you keep the cards until the end of the game and you can't really lose them. Alright, so let's say I have a, a sword and a pickaxe and I choose to go into the cave, um, oh yeah. and let's say I have cobblestone. So that means I have a, a cobblestone pickaxe and a cobblestone sword. Um, and if I, if I go into the cave and the first item is a uh, coal, um, I could pick it up because it says requires stone, iron, or diamond pickaxe to mine this ore. So that means uh, just any pickaxe you have will be sufficient. So uh, I use my stone uh, pickaxe to pick up this card. So now I have uh, coal. Now let's say in the next turn I go into the cave again and I run into a spider. So it says over here that mobs can, mob drops or um, like the item that you can use this card for can only be picked up once you kill the mob. Alright, uh, and the the fighting aspect of this game is determined through a, a die. A die. All right. So I have a cobblestone sword. So if you look here, it'll say um, a stone sword. You have to roll lower than three in order to hit. So if I if I roll a two, then I could kill the spider. If I roll a six then the spider killed me and I would have to lose, drop all my resources. You, you drop your resources back into the decks that, came, that they came from. So like the coal would go back into the cave and the, the wood card would go into the outside deck. So let's see. Okay, right, so I rolled a three and that's not lower than three because it is three. So that means the spider killed me. And I would basically lose all, all my cards the cobblestone's the only one that could be tricky. Um, this one's outside, so it'd go into the outside deck. And you place it at the bottom of the deck. Um, one way you could play the game is every time someone dies, you shuffle both decks to make sure that um, you can't card count or something like that. And uh, let's see. Uh, and also, uh, I'll show you how to upgrade the uh, pickaxe and sword. So. Let's say um, my next turn, I was going through the deck, and I ran into a diamond card. Um, I can't pick up the diamond card, and I can't upgrade to a diamond pickaxe or sword until I get iron, because I need I need an iron pickaxe in order to mine the diamond in the first place. All right, so let me just cheat cheat a little bit. All right, so I. I ran into iron, and uh, I have a cobblestone pickaxe, so I could pick up the iron. So that's what I choose to do. At this point, I have five five resource cards, so I don't have to drop any yet. Once once I reach uh, seven resource cards or seven crafting cards, I'll have to drop one one of the cards. Like if I have seven resource cards, I need to drop one resource card. If I have seven crafting cards, then I have to drop one crafting card. I mean, if I go over seven. Uh, yeah, so now that I have a iron pickaxe, oh, actually, 
Um, now that I have iron, I could use up a crafting turn. So, like I explained in the second video, um, in each turn that you have, you can uh, pick up one resource, you can drop one resource, you can pick up one crafting card, and you can drop one crafting card. Um, you could also use up a crafting turn, as in, um, you could use up your turn for crafting or dropping a crafting card by upgrading a pickaxe or a sword. You have to upgrade one at a time, unfortunately. So right now, I still have a cobblestone pickaxe and sword. So if I want to upgrade the cobblestone pickaxe, I place the iron um, resource underneath the pickaxe. So that uses up my crafting turn, and I can't craft any items this round. And my sword is still cobblestone. So um, another thing is um, all, all the resources, once I craft something, I, I could drop the resource necessary to craft it. So for example, the bed required uh, one block of wood and one, one uh, wool. If I drop my sheep card or the wool, I, I could still keep the crafting card because it's already made, basically. And, and basically, uh, if I needed the wood card for multiple uh, crafting items, I, I just need one wood card. Just uh, That's to simplify the game. But uh, one exception to that is basically for pickaxes and swords, or um, yeah, pickaxes or, and swords, you need to keep the resource that's tied to it. This is for upgrading purposes, so you could keep track. So um, the cobblestone is tied to the sword, and the iron is tied to the pickaxe. So let's say uh, it's my turn again, and I upgrade the sword. Uh, now the iron is tied to the pickaxe and the sword. So that means if I wanted to, I could drop the cobblestone at this point because uh, it's no longer needed for either item. And that's about it. So that'll sum up this tutorial.